good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss tutorial sheet 3 which is based on chapter 3 chapter 3 we discussed graph trees so the first question is let u and v are adjacent to vertices in a graph then prove that their eccentricities differ by at most one so let us say that eccentricity of u and v are denoted as e of u and e of v and e of u is less than or equal to e of v now consider any arbitrary vertex x in the graph so x there must be a path from x to u and x to v and v is adjacent to u this is what we have given and we need to prove that e of v minus e of u is less than or equal to 1 because it differ by at most 1 so now this distance x to v if I have to go from x to v or v to x then from v I can go to u and then choose the shortest path from u to x so 1 plus because 1 is this distance and then the shortest path from u to x and there could be the other path from v to x which can be shorter than this path because distance represents the shortest path this means that distance of x comma v is always less than or equal to 1 plus t of x comma u and if i take maximum on both the sides then distance of over all x is less than or equal to 1 plus maximum of d of x comma u so this is eccentricity v which is less than or equal to 1 plus eccentricity u so this is what need to be proved the next question is compute the radius and diameter of k m comma n so it's a complete bipartite graph the question is easy the only observation is that we need to consider different cases best based on the value of m and n so for example if i have k 2 3 then we can see that it's always eccentricity is 2 and therefore both radius and diameter are 2 but in case of k13 radius is 1 and diameter is 2 so we can say that when m and n are greater than equal to 2 then the radius and diameter are 2 in other cases in k1n radius is 1 diameter is 2 and for k11 radius and diameter are 1 let t be a tree on n vertices such that no vertex it has no vertex of degree 2 show that it has more than n by 2 leaves we will prove it by contradiction so the contradiction says that assume that t has at most n by 2 leaves if it has n by at most n by 2 leaves then the degree sum is at least so n by 2 leaves dot 1 plus there are no vertex of degree 2 it means the remaining vertices have degree at least 3 so at least 3 and we are taking the minimum therefore degree sum is less than or equal to this quantity which comes out to be 2n but we know that for a tree the degree sum is 2n minus 1 and therefore this is a contradiction so we started with a contradiction and we reached to a contradiction and this is why t has more than n by 2 leaves consider a tree having 50 leaves and equal number of vertices of degree 2 3 4 and 5 and it has no vertices of degree greater than 5 compute the order of t so to compute the order of the t we have to establish the relation between the degrees of these vertices and between the order of t so let us say that the number of vertices of degree 2 3 4 and 5 are x so therefore 2x plus 3x plus 4x plus 5x plus 50 leaves is equal to 2n minus 2 but at the same time the total number of the vertices so x vertices of degree 2 x of degree 3 x of degree 4 and 5 
and plus 50 leaves this is equal to n and now by eliminating x I need the value of the n if you solve it then n comes out to be 82. Find all trees such that t complement is also a tree. To address this problem you can try to draw all the trees and let's say you get two trees or three trees or four trees but that does not justify that you have found all the trees. So first you need a mathematical justification for having all the trees such that their complement is also a tree. So if t and t complement and their order is n then both have n minus 1 edges but we already know that if we consider the edges of g and g complement it forms the complete graph kn which has n n minus 1 by 2 edges. Now if we solve it for n then n comes out to be 1 and 4 it means the trees where its complement is also a tree must be of order 1 or 4 for order 1 there is one choice k1 and for 4 there is one choice p4 so there are two trees k1 and p4 whose complement is also a tree a very interesting problem so let t be an vertex tree that has exactly 2k vertices of odd degree show that it can be split into k edge disjoint paths so we will do it by induction for k is equal to 1 and 2 it's obvious because for k is equal to 1 there is only one vertex of odd degree and uh, there are no paths and similarly for k is equal to 1 this is the case so there are two vertices of odd degree so k is 1 and there is one path so for k is equal to 2 is the basic induction step now to do it by induction let's try to understand through this figure so in this figure there are six vertices of odd degree this is odd and these endpoints are odd then this is odd this is odd this is odd and this is odd now what i did i delete the longest path in the tree and then use the induction now when you delete the longest path whenever you see a path then the end vertices have odd degree while the middle vertices or internal vertices have even degree and therefore the parity of the end vertices would change they are odd so there they becomes even so this is a vertex here so it was 1 here it becomes 0 this was 2 here it becomes 0 so even remains even the middle one this was 3 here it becomes 1 then it was 4 here it becomes 2 and similarly this is 2 here it becomes 0 and this also becomes 0. So when you delete the longest path then the even vertices remains even the internal even or odd vertices remains even or odd only the end vertices so there are only two vertices which are odd and they becomes even. It means that after deleting the longest path t has or after deleting the longest path t dash has 2k minus 1 vertices of odd degree. And now by induction t dash can be splitted into k minus 1 edge disjoint path as disjoint paths and if I put back the longest path which is of course edge disjoint from all other paths which implies that t has k edge disjoint paths. One more important thing is that here we have proved the result for forest and when we prove any result for forest of course it is 
true for trees and we considered forest because when you delete the longest path then in between you are getting forest so this is a forest so this is also a trick which need to be understand this one is very easy question it says that for any connected graph radius is always less than equal to diameter and diameter should be less than equal to two times the radius this is what need to be proved so let us assume that this is represented as d of u comma v diameter g represents the distance between two vertices u and v and c is the center so this duv should be less than equal to duc plus dcv and this becomes radius g plus radius g the next one is also very easy we need to find the radius and diameter of the following graphs please do it by yourself you'll find that for the first one radius is 2 diameter is 3 for the second one radius is 2 and diameter is 2 again for the first one this represents the diameter so it's 4 radius is 2 there also comes 4 and for the second one radius is 1 and diameter is 2 the next question says that let tree t be a tree of order k if g be a graph whose minimum degree so this represents the minimum degree is at least k minus 1 then t must be isomorphic to some subgraph of g so very interesting result for example if we consider this graph so here the minimum degree is 1 better to consider this one whose minimum degree is 3 so if minimum degree is 3 it means try to draw any tree of order 4 like this is one tree of order 4 this is one tree of order 4 whatever tree you draw it must be present within the graph so this is present there path graph is present there or any other trite we will prove this result by induction so t is a tree of order k it means it must have a leaf so let v is a leaf which is visible here and u is adjacent to v so t minus v is of order k minus 1 again we will use the induction that's why i am considering t minus 1 and also delta g is at least k minus 1 which means it is greater than k minus 2 or i can say that delta g is greater than equal to k minus 2 so t minus v is of order k minus 1 delta g is greater than equal to k minus 2 so by induction g has a subgraph which is isomorphic subgraph h let's say which is isomorphic to t minus v now i have to show that g must have a subgraph which is isomorphic to t now consider any vertex in h or consider a vertex which is corresponding to u in h let's call it u dash so degree of this vertex in graph g is at least k minus 1 because g has the minimum degree k minus 1 but at the same time h is isomorphic to t minus v which means order of h is k minus 1 so k h has k minus 1 vertices and u dash has degree at least k minus 1 it means that u dash must be adjacent to one more vertex which is not in h so let's call it w so for example initially if you this is h so it is present in many ways here for example 
this is present here yes so it must have one more vertex or it must have a vertex which is adjacent to one more vertex which is not in H which is clearly visible here either you can consider this one you can consider this one you can consider this one but that gives you the required tree so this W along with H or you can say H plus W gives you a tree which is isomorphic to a subgraph of G. So please think it in a little bit more detail. Very interesting question. So the last question is draw a simple connected graph whose diameter and its complement diameter is 3. So it's a simple exercise. The answer is P4 because its diameter is 3 and its complement is P4 only. There could be other examples, but this is the most simplest of all. So that's all from today's class. Thank you very much for attending the class.